Hi there, YouTube family. Welcome into today's video, which um, I guess I just finally got fed up to the point that I had to make this video. I am absolutely up to here with listening and watching things that tell me all the rules about makeup and beauty after 40. And I am 49, as most of you know, I just turned 49 in June, and so I'm coming up on the big 5-0. And I feel like, what in the world are all of these people setting down rules for me for? And so I am here to tell you today the beauty rules that I am busting through and not just busting through, I am shattering them. And the reason being is because you know what? I think it's crap. I think it's absolute crap that all these people tell me what I can and can't like, tell me what looks good on me, and then, you know, they go off and do their own thing. But I, these are, this is just kind of my video rant about being over 40 and what I feel like is just ridiculous. Um, even on YouTube, it'll say the rules over 40 or what you can and can't do over 40 or just garbage like that. I feel like, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to be my own person. And I think that is the most important rule of all for all of us is that follow your own heart, follow what you like, follow what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy, and forget about the rest of this crap. So I'm going to just run through five things that I have heard that I think are just things that are ridiculous and I don't ever abide by those. So here goes. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe by hitting the red button below. Hit the bell icon next to it so that you can be notified of any future videos. And yes, I do do a few rants here and there. Anyway, let's get on with it. Number one is you can't wear color eyeshadow on your eyes after 40. I think this is so ridiculous. Now today I'm wearing a very smoky eye, but I smoked it out underneath with blue. I don't know if you guys can see that well or not, but I refuse, I absolutely refuse to go the train of just wearing neutrals. I actually won't buy a just a neutral palette because usually when you're buying palettes, there are neutral colors in there already. So I look for the palettes that actually make me step outside my comfort zone and make me wear color. Yes, I think it's beautiful to wear a neutral soft eye. I think that is gorgeous. I think that no matter what your age is, explore with your makeup. If you like a certain color, put it on. If you don't like it, you can take it off. You really don't need to follow that rule of no um, color eyeshadow. I think that's ridiculous. Okay, the second rule that I do not follow absolutely is you have to wear mattes or you cannot wear shimmers after you're 40. And this I think is ridiculous. Now, let me say, that this is a little bit tricky because as you age, you get the crepey eyelids and you get, you know, the lines and wrinkles around your eyes. So it can be a little bit tricky. However, I don't think that this rule applies to most women. Um, wearing a pop of shimmer on your lid, wearing it on your brow bone as to pull your eye up, it gives your eye life. It gives it brightness. And I think that that's really important. Now, if you're not comfortable with them, that's a different story if it's what you choose. But to tell somebody that they can't wear shimmer on their eyes after 40, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong, I wear a lot of matte eyeshadows, but I usually almost always wear me some pop of shimmer right there on that eyelid and especially in the corner and to lift my brow just underneath. Rule number three is wear your hair shorter because as you age, your face gets drawn down and you have to, you know, pull your hair up or something in order for you to look more youthful. I'm sorry, I'm going to rock my long hair as long as I possibly can. And I have for the first time in my life been able to grow this hair at my age. So I'm going to, for one, enjoy it. Now, I think that if you appreciate short hair and you love having your short hair, go for it. There's nothing wrong, but I don't want to be put in that box of, okay, your hair has to be, you know, shoulder length or shorter. No, I think that is just absolutely 
a ridiculous rule. You know, there are there have been women up into their 80s and 90s. They love their long hair. And yes, they twist it up and they put it in a bun or they put it in a braid every day. And people look at them with their gray hair and they think, what in the world are you doing? Well, if it's ratty and yucky, yeah. But there are some women that really, truly exude beauty with long hair. And I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having long hair after 40. I'm probably going to wear it well into my 50s, maybe into my 60s just depending on how my hair does with its health. So that is rule number three that I just absolutely shatter and don't like. Rule number four, you guys, this one for me is just one of those ones that I just want to shake somebody because why in the world did you come up with this? Rule number four is you cannot wear full coverage foundation. You guys, my skin is so bad. I mean, really, truly, I have scars from having acne when I was younger. And then also I have pigmentation that's not great, all those things. And I enjoy wearing a full coverage foundation. If I find a medium foundation that doesn't really cover the way I want to, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's not gonna be one that I like. So yeah, I obviously always want a full coverage foundation. Now, along with that, this is part B of that. And that is wearing a full coverage um, concealer because you have lines and wrinkles under there. Well, okay, I get that part because if you got that wrong, you could really be aging yourself because your concealer could be setting into those. And so, yeah, you would, you might have a problem with that, but I found a little trick on that, which I'm gonna do a whole entire video about. I might try to do that in the next few days. A whole entire video about, um, you know, keeping your eyes from creasing and still having them look more youthful even though you're wearing full coverage because you need it. Because like me, you have the dark circles from hell, which is one of my videos that I did. Uh, rule number five is don't look too flamboyant or don't try to look younger than your age. You know, try to just age gracefully. Those kinds of things that are said to us always, no, I'm going to fight this all the way. Not that I do, that I mind being 49, but I would like to have a more youthful look about me and more youthful appearance. Isn't that why we buy all of the skincare? Isn't that why we wear makeup? Isn't that why we're always looking for something to make us feel better, look better, whatnot? Okay, that is rule number five. I am going to do everything in my power to look as young as I can, as as long as possible. I want to have a youthful appearance. I want to have, um, I'm not going to try and look 20 because or 30 because I'm never gonna be that again. But I don't wanna look older than I am. I don't want to be put into a category. You know, one quote that always stands out for me that I absolutely love is from Dolly Parton. And everybody knows, you look at Dolly Parton now and everybody says, she looks terrible for what she's done. The woman is almost 80, you guys and look at her. She does look good for her age. Now, given she's had a ton of plastic surgery and I don't think I personally would go for all of that, but she made the quote that it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to look this trashy. And I thought, you know what? Own it own it because she did. It's like, well, if I want to have long hair, if I want to do some fillers, if I want to have, you know, a facelift, a tummy tuck, whatever, that's my business. That's what I like. That's me. And that's what she did. Now, personally, again, I probably wouldn't go to any of those lengths because I do like to have a little bit more natural look. And um, I know watching my mother, my mother is such a beautiful soul. She's 81 and she is just the most beautiful woman. So watching her age so gracefully and so beautifully has inspired me. But I'm telling you, if I had the money, I would for sure be going and getting some Botox right here in between my eyes because this 11 thing right here drives me crazy. I watched this woman the other day and she had no wrinkles on her face because she had so much filler. But right here you could tell from her neck that she was older because her neck was crepey and it was really bad. And I thought, you know what, that's the balance that we need to all hit is that, you know, aging gracefully, but actually doing it in such a way that makes you still feel good, then that might be the trick for all of us. And personally, that's where I wanna hit. I wanna hit that happy medium 
where I still feel really good in my skin, but I still feel like, okay, I am my age, but I'm happy that I'm my age. And that is the last thing that I want to leave you guys with is that be happy where you are. And even though I said, yeah, I wanted to bust through, shatter through all of these rules, you still have to be happy with who you are. If it makes you feel happy to wear matte eyeshadow, do it. If it makes you feel happy to wear neutral eyeshadow, do it. If it makes you feel happy to have short hair, you know, on and on and on about these things that I've talked about. But you know what, you guys, in the end, we have to live with ourselves. We know what we like. We know what we feel pretty in. So that's my message for today. Love you. If you want to wear a bright purple on your eye, go for it. Do what you love. Do what makes you feel pretty, what makes you feel like you. That's everything for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like this little rant that I went on and these little rules that I think are absolutely ridiculous for all of us women that are of a more mature age, but yet we still feel young and wonderful at heart. So that's it, you guys. I love you so very very much. Thank you always for being with me and I will see you in my very next video. Bye you guys.